Hallelujah. So today I want us, uh, in the few minutes that we have, I know that God is going to speak to us. And I want to tell you that God is good all the time. God is good. I don't know how many people know that God is good in Monday, in Tuesday, in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and even today, Sunday. So God is not only good today, but He is good all the time. Praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, today, the message that I have uh, for those who are putting down, it is keep holding on. You can write that as the topic of what we are going to discuss. I believe that God is going to evaluate us and is going to explain this in a way that you can be able to understand. Praise God. I want us to go with me all the, uh, all the way to the book of Ruth. We are going to read from the book of Ruth. And uh, we are going to start there. Uh, verse. Yeah, we are going to start from verse 14. Actually, we are going to read just three verses. And I believe that we are going to listen what God wants to tell us. Uh, before I go deep into Ruth, uh, there are three or oh, there are two women in the Bible who have been given a privilege. Uh, I mean that they will have books which have been written after them. And I remember there was a time here we preached about Esther. I know some of you can remember, others maybe could not remember, which is also very okay. Uh, but I want you to tell you that uh, Ruth is another woman yes. that a book has been written after her. Praise God. Amen. Can we clap for our ladies? They are very important people. And this book is very important, by the way, even before I go to the word. Because whenever I, I try to look this woman of God, Ruth, I believe this book is very important here because if we do not have Ruth, today we have read about Psalms very much. But I want to tell you, if we did not have Ruth, we cannot have that Psalms and proper yeah. because we know that in the genealogy or in the family tree of Jesus, Ruth is mentioned there. Praise God. Uh, we are going to start from verse 14. Uh, the Bible says, uh, chapter 1, Ruth chapter 1, Ruth chapter 1. We are going to start uh, from verse 14. Actually, we are reading three verses, 14, 15, and 16. Ruth chapter 1, 14, 15, and 16. Verse 14, the Bible says, Then they lifted up their voices and wept again. And Opa kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. Verse 15. And she said, Look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her God. Return after your sister-in-law. Verse 16. But Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you, or turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God, let us proceed first 17. When you die, I will die. Where you die, I will die. And there I, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts you and me. Praise God. So those were words that were spoken by Ruth. And even before I can go there, maybe I can try to help you understand what have happened in this uh, first chapter of Ruth. Now the Bible says, uh, if I can try to uh, to say what the Bible says in Ruth, we are not going to read the whole of it. But the Bible says that there was a famine in Bethlehem, just like what has happened in Kenya, there was famine in Bethlehem. Uh, the Bible says that uh, it is good to note that Ruth was written during the, 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 the readership of uh, Judges. And it is good also to note that Ruth was in that process of transition. Because I believe after Joshua died, there was a very poor leadership in Israel, and therefore God is trying to move them so that then they can move, they can be that, there can be transition, and then from those, we have Samuel, we have Saul, and you have David. But my point that I want to put across you this afternoon, the Bible says that in the land of Bethlehem, there was a lot of famine. And this famine was a result of the punishment that was there because people have gone against the will of God. And the Bible says that there was one man by the name Elimelech. All this is in the first chapter. 
And the Bible says, when there was famine, this man, uh, he moved to another country by the name Moab, together with his wife and together with his two sons. They went there. His wife was called Naomi and his two sons. We have Macro and Chirion. Those were the sons of this man by the name Elimere. How many people know that when you have that, uh, when you have circumstance that you cannot hold, you have to move so that you can be able to rescue yourself? Because these people, they have no other alternative other than moving from Bethlehem to go uh, to Moab because there was famine and there was no any way they could have stayed there because if they stayed there, it therefore means they would have died because of a uh, famine, because of hunger. I want you to know that Bethlehem was uh, sometimes it was very fertile by the way. Actually, the word Bethlehem means a house of bread. But now here, as a circumstance have come, a situation has come, and they don't have any other alternative rather than going to another country. And this is what have happened here in Kenya. We are hearing country uh, counties like in Nakuru. You know, Nakuru used to feed the whole of Kenya. But we hear what is happening. This is what happened. And the Bible says they moved to another nation, to another country called Moab. And when they went there, the Bible says that this man by the name Elimere, he died there. Praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died there and he left to his two sons uh, together with his wife. And uh, I want you, I don't know whether, when you read this, I don't know. How many people know that it depends a lot when you lose someone you hold very much dearly? Sometimes, you know, when we read this chapter, sometimes we just read, and uh, I want you to go deep into what this woman is feeling. And whenever I want to talk about now, I, I want you to consider Naomi as the church and the Israel family, consider them as the church. The Bible says that now Naomi, they have traveled all the way to Moab. And there, and there, the man of the house, the provider, the breadwinner, Elimere, died. Praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So there are these two sons, uh, they got, uh, they married there, they married uh, the Moabites. They, they, they got wife from the Moab, and these, uh, these two daughters, they are called Opa and Ruth. They were married by the, by the sons of Elimere and now. And when they went there, uh, something also happened after 10 years because the Bible says the two sons also died. Oh, I want you to see the pain that was with this woman. She has lost her husband and she has lost her two sons. Uh, remember during those days, women were not, uh, in they were, those communities, women were not working. So I just look at this woman, I, ju I just pity for her uh, because now she has lost her two sons and also she has lost her husband. And whoever is remaining is just the two daughters. And the Bible says now, where, when they were staying there together with her, with her daughters, she decided, can I go back to Judah? Can I go back to Bethlehem? And when she was going there, she told her daughters, I want to go back to my country. And therefore, I want you also to go back to your family, go back to your mother's. Because now you see what has happened. You see what has come unto us. I don't have anything that I can do. Actually, she said that I cannot get married at my age. And even if I get married, I don't think uh, the, the, the sons can grow to marry you. And therefore, I want you to go to your gods, go to your country, and let me uh, go to your family, and let me go back to my country. Praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And when they were they, they were going there, the Bible says that there was this person by the name uh, by the name Ruth. She clung to her, but Oprah, Opa, uh, Opa just kissed her and cried and left. But now Ruth said, "I'm not going to leave you." Verse 14 says that Ruth and treat, uh, uh, Ruth said, "Entreat me not to leave you or turn back from following after you." For wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you wrote, I will vote. Your people shall be my people, and you are God by God. Praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This woman by the name Ruth, she said that I'm going to keep hold on you. No matter what is going to happen, 
I am not going to go. I am not going to leave you. And entreat me not to leave you or turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and you are God my God. Praise be to the name of Lord Jesus Christ. She said, I'm not going to leave you. But Oprah, she cried, she hugged her, and she went, and she left. Praise be to the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And when I'm passing this information, I want to know that uh, when you are in the house of the Lord, it is when you stay in the house of the Lord that you receive the blessing that are there. We shall read and we shall see about this woman by by the name Ruth. We don't know what happened to Oprah. She just went and she left. And nowhere in the Bible we hear her any, any, anymore. She left and she went. But we have this woman by the name Ruth. She said that no matter what, I am going to grant to this woman. And even before I proceed, I don't know how many people uh, can connect people to God. Because I want to believe, if it were not by this woman by the name now, this Ruth could not have known God together with the other daughter, uh, her sister-in-law, that is Opa. They could not have known God. I don't know how many people, sometimes we connect them to God. Because there are people who will not know God by us here preaching, but they will know God by you connecting them to your God. One of As what happened by this woman called Naomi. She connected these people to God. She connected these people to, to her God, to the true God that she was in. But I want to tell you that um, uh, this, this person by the name Opa, she just cried and she left. Praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know how many times people try to look opportunity so that they can live, so that they can go. But now I don't have even a problem with Opa, but just to remind you that the blessing is for those who remain. Praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessing is for those who remain, who remain in the field of the Lord. And I want to tell you something, that whenever you come into the field of the Lord, it is a point of connection. One appear, Sifa. It is a point whereby you are connected to God. It is a point whereby you come and receive revelation from the Lord. And I want to see I want you to see the revelation that was with this person called Ruth. One of her She could see something. We are going to see that in chapter 2. She could see something that Opa could not see. That this woman I am following, she is going to connect me with someone that has my blessing. One of her I don't know how many people, sometimes they get, uh, they get tired, maybe even in the house of the Lord, but they don't know that there is a blessing in the house of the Lord. And as I have told you, I have come to tell you, just keep holding on. One of her because you are about to be glad that you held on. You are about to be glad that you did not left. You are about to be glad. One of her And as I have told you that now Naomi went all the way to Bethlehem together with this daughter-in-law by the name Ruth. And the Bible says that when she went there, actually people are not able to recognize her because they were asking, is this Naomi? Praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But Naomi said, Do not call me Naomi, call me Mara, for the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. And she said, I went to full, but now I have returned empty. Many are the times that the people go through the pain. Many are the times that maybe you could be doing everything that you are supposed to do in the house of the Lord. You are doing all the things. You are faithful in the house of the Lord. You are worshiping. You are praying. But sometimes if the truth can be told, there are times that you see what is happening in your life and what you believe is not matching. And I believe that is what was happening to this woman, Naomi, because she was faithful in the house of the Lord. Actually, the word Naomi means uh, uh, God is present, God is sweet. And uh, Elimelech, her late husband, that, that word means that uh, God is the king. So there are many times that people find themselves doing everything that they are supposed to do in the house of the Lord. But still, you see that there is a gap. Amen. I have come to told you, you are about to be glad that you hold on. And I want you to go to chapter 2, because now I want to enter into the message that I have. Chapter 2, verse 1, the Bible says, There was a relative of Naomi, husband, a man of great wealth, 
of the family of Elimere. His name was Boaz. Oh, praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Ruth was following this woman called Naomi because Ruth was a person of covenant, because she, had saw, she, uh, she saw how God of Naomi helped her. But she never knew that by following this Naomi, she is going to get connected to her blessing. And the Bible says that there was a rich person by the name of Boaz, and he was related to an early mere. I want to see, I want you to see how God connects people for those people who remain faithful in the kingdom of God. The Bible says that this woman clung to Naomi. Naomi had nothing that was attractive in the eyes of Ruth. She was not attractive in anything because she had no money and she was a, a, a widow. But this woman by the name Ruth, she could see something which other people could see or the other sister-in-law who left Opa, which he could not see. That this person that I am following, she has what I need. She has my blessing. She is going to make me to be connected to my blessing. I don't know if you know that sometimes you get connected to what you are blessing by the people that you think maybe they cannot connect you to your blessing. What a perceiver. The Bible says there was this man who was very rich and he was related to Elimere. His name was Boaz. And I want you to know that Ruth, together with her mother-in-law, they have returned to Bethlehem. And they are there, they are so desperate because they have brought, all of them, they had the same uh, circumstance because they have brought their husband. They are there without hope. But the Bible says one day, uh, Ruth decided that she is going uh, to clean uh, after the house, to, to, to gather in the harvest or to clean. To clean is wherever you go and you look left off us. So she said that I'm going to end a field so that we can get something to eat. And when they went, the Bible says, he entered, uh, she entered in one of the land that was owned by a person called Boaz. One of her That is what the Bible says in uh, verse 3. Then she left and, uh, uh, and went and cleaned in the field after the reapers. And she happened to come to the part of the field belonging to Boaz, who was the family of Elimere. Praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This woman, when she went out, so that she can reap after other harvester have collected or have uh, gathered all the, the, the all what was belonging to them. She went, and the Bible says, uh, she entered into one of the land belonging to Boaz. And the Bible says, let us read verse 4. Now behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said to the reaper, The Lord be with you. And they answered him, The Lord bless you. One of her Amen. This woman, when she was tumbling, she just found her, herself in one of the few. I know that God is the one who directs the steps of his people. And I am coming to people who found themselves in the kingdom of God. And I know that when you are coming in the kingdom of God, because the Bible says that God is the one who directs the steps of the righteous people, you found yourself in the field of the Lord. You found yourself in the kingdom of God. There are many fields that you could have entered, but God directed you into his field. One per Amen. And this is what happened to Ruth. She could have gone to any other field, but because she was directed by God, she found herself in a field that was going to connect her to her blessing. Of all the fields, the Bible says, she went into one of the fields, and it was in that field that she was able to get to connect her to God. We are going to see that. I want you to understand that when you have the Spirit of the Lord, when you have the Spirit of Revelation, you are being directed by the Lord. Wherever you find yourself, you should know that you are step are being directed into the Lord. And the Bible says that when she entered into that field, she was just going they are correcting what have been left of a bona persifa. I don't know if you have ever found yourself in that process of uh, uh, greening or reaping as other people have done that. Bona persifa. When you are doing that, you just wait what other people have left 
so that you can get. Bona Persifa. And the Bible says that this woman, she just entered there. Bona Persifa. She just entered into that field and she, uh, she started working in that field. She was not just waiting. Bona Persifa. Whenever you find yourself in the field of the Lord, just continue to work. Bona Persifa. This woman went there and she started to work. And the Bible says we are going to see that from verse 6. So the servant who was in charge of the rivers and okay, verse 5, the Bible says, Then Boaz said to his servant, Who was in charge of the rivers? Who whose young man is this? So the servant who was in the charge of the rivers answered and said, It is the young Moabite woman who came from uh, who came with Naomi from the country of Moab. I want you to say this. This is a woman who is a foreigner. She is not an Israelite. She is a Moab. And if maybe I can touch something to do with Moab, Moab is the, is the present day Jordan. And Moab was a country whereby the Israelites could land there when there was no food in, in Bethlehem. But it, it is good to know that Moab was a barren country spiritually. It was not a place to stay. Bona Persifa. It was actually it was a country full of people who were born out of incest. If you read the Bible, you are going to see that. And this woman, she has found herself in the midst of foreigners because she is a Moabite and the other people are Israel. And God has directed her to enter into one of the field so that she can correct the offer of what other people have left. What a Persifa. And when she entered there, she has been connected to her blessing because the Bible says this man by the name Boaz was asking, Who was that? The young woman who I could see. What a Persifa. He was that who was coming after you and collecting the stuff upon a pair of when you go, when you are on the side of God he he has a conversation with other people about you upon a pair of I don't know how many people know here in the chat when you have a, a, a connection with God he he talk with other people concerning you on how he's going to elevate you upon a pair of now this is someone called Boaz Boaz was very rich and she's asking the people who is this woman I have seen her going after the left of Abana Persifa. And this afternoon I could be talking to somebody. Maybe you are feeling that you found yourself in the house of the Lord and maybe you had a very ugly past. I want to tell you that when you found yourself in the house of the Lord, maybe you have come from Moab. Maybe your past is not beautiful. Maybe when you look you are your past, you don't have something to smile. But I want to tell you someone, uh, uh, something. When you find yourself in the house of the Lord, I want to encourage you to continue working in the house of the Lord until your day is coming. One apersifa, yeah. and you are about to be glad that you cried on, that you kept on. One apersifa, you are about to be glad. I want you to see the, the 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 pain that was with this woman by the name Ruth, because he has lost her husband. But she said, "I'm not going to leave this mother-in-law, no matter what. Even if she has no any money, I am going to get hold to her yes. because I'm not following." her because of money maybe she has nothing in the bank account maybe she has no good a uh, big name but i'm following this woman because i know what is in her i am following this woman because i know the anointing that is in her and i am following this woman so that she can connect me to my blessing praise me to the name of our Lord jesus christ i want to tell the church today blessing is for those who hold on blessing is for those people who do not live born a persifa we don't know what happened with Opa, but we are so much sure that there was a blessing that came to this woman, a God Ruth, born a Perisifa, because she held on what was supposed to, uh, to be held on. She said, I'm not going to leave my mother-in-law. Maybe her mother-in-law, she had nothing, and for sure she had nothing, because she was a widow. And uh, this woman had got a lot of pain. She had lost her husband. She had nothing, but Ruth said, I'm going to follow this woman because I know I, had a refer I have a revelation that this woman is going to connect me to my presence. Because if Ruth never followed this woman, 
She could not have been connected to her blessing. What a perceiver. She could not have been connected and connected to her blessing, irrespective of where she came. Because I have told you that Moab was a very bad country. What a perceiver. It was spiritually barren. And today, let me to talk, talk to someone. Maybe you found yourself in the house of the Lord, and when you try to look to your future, you don't have something to smile. What a perceiver. And now you came in the house of the Lord, and then you are asking yourself, Do I have? Have anything in this house that I can get? What a perceiver! I want to tell you that you came in the kingdom of God. It is a point of connection. What a perceiver! It is not a point of refuge. It is a point whereby you are going to be connected with your blessing. What a perceiver! It is a place where you receive your blessing. And the Bible says, "Let us continue and see." Uh, verse seven, and she said, "Please let me clean and gather after the reapers among the sheep." So she came and it has continued from morning until now, though she rested a little in the house. And then Koa said to Ruth, you will listen, my daughter. Will you not? Do not glean in another field, nor go from here, but stay close by my young women. Praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. She has been told, you are going after people of half a step, and you are going looking for a stopper. But from this time, you are not going to do that. You are going to accompany those who are uh, the young women who are going to harvest. And I am going to command them. When they are harvesting, they are going to leave something for you. Bona Persifa. I want to tell someone who come in the kingdom of God. When you come here, there is your blessing. Bona Persifa. Continue doing what you are supposed to do. Continue trusting in the Lord. And God is going to connect to you. Bona Persifa. I feel it is a point of being connected to what you want. Bona Persifa. Because... This woman, by the name Ruth, she never knew that by following Ruth, uh, by following Naomi, she is going to be connected to her blessing. And there is something that makes me happy about this love story uh, in the book of Ruth, that when uh, Boaz came, she asked the people, who is that? And she gave her favor because she said that you are not as a young girl, you are not going to green in another field. One perceiver, you are not going to green in another field. I don't know, can I preach for just a very few minutes here and say we have seen people moving from churches to churches, but they don't know that their blessing is where they are. One perceiver, you don't need to move here so that you can go to another place so that you can receive your blessing. One perceiver, you can still receive your blessing when you are here in the kingdom of God. Yes. Because when this man came, he never told her, go to another field. She told her, just remain in this field. One perceiver, just remain in this field. And you are going to receive whatever belongs to you. One perceiver, maybe Ruth was feeling, when I am here, I am not able to gather what is belonging to me because I'm just here gathering the stuff. But the Bible says she never knew that she was going to be connected uh, to another person who is going to help her to get what she needs. One perceiver. Amen. So many times people they don't they fail to understand that when you find yourself in the field of the Lord, just continue to work there. And you are going to meet for us. One perceiver. You are going to meet a point of connection. You are going to be connected. One perceiver. Just keep holding on because you are about to be glad. One perceiver. And remember when Luth is glad, when Luth has been blessed, Naomi automatically will be blessed. One perceiver. So I want you to see this. Uh, actually, this is almost similar to what uh, we lunch in the morning. If you look at the first chapter, it is a chapter that is full of pain. It is a chapter that is full of regret. It is a chapter actually, uh, that, uh, that is why Naomi said, do not call me Naomi, because God has afflicted me. But I thank God, because when I was trying to look at this uh, chapter, first one, I was asking God, so what? But when I entered in verse 2, in chapter, in chapter 2, after a, that a chapter of sad news, here comes another chapter where they met with their connection. Many times people do not understand. When you are going through hardship, when you are going through pain, just continue keeping on. Just continue holding on. Because after that chapter of pain, after that chapter of uh, frustration, after that chapter of famine, 
What will come after that is a chapter of joy. And that is what happened here. Bona Persifa. But the people, many people fail to understand. When you live, when you are in the first chapter of pain, there are things that you never see. Bona Persifa. Amen. We never hear about Oprah. Mm. She left and she went. She cried and she hung her mother in law. And let me talk to people. You may feel that you are so you are loving God so much. But if you are not going to connect to be connected with him, you are going to miss your blessing. What a person. Just keep connected to God. Yeah. When you keep connected to God, that is when you go, you get to receive your blessing. Upper left. She missed her blessing. But this woman said, I am going to grant to this woman. She never knew that this woman is the one that is going to connect her to the blessing that she needs. Yes. And when you come in the field of the Lord, there is your blessing there. It doesn't matter when you came, but it matters on what you did. Amen. I want to see this woman. There are other people who are harvest, who are in front of her, they were harvesting, and she was the last. One of her sister. But she received the paper. Actually, she became the first. One of her sister. Because if you read the whole, uh, the whole chapter later, you find that she was married by Boaz. One of her sister. So the field that she went, it became hers. One of her sister. She was just there reaping after people have harvested. But she never knew that she is going to own that, uh, that field that it belongs to Boaz. One of her sister. So many other times that the people come and they wonder, is there anything in that house for me? I want to tell her yes. I want to tell you oh, yes. yes. There is a blessing for you in the kingdom of God. There is a blessing that is there when you keep holding uh, in the name of the Lord. And you get the favor when you work in the field of the Lord. This woman was working in the field of Boaz. And it was in that time when she was working that she received a, a connection. One of her sister. Actually, the Bible says that uh, when she was asked whether she was resting, the, the person who was in charge of the field, she said that this woman actually she, she is having a very small break. She was just working tirelessly. Let me talk to people. Maybe you have been in the house of the Lord. You have been working, you have been doing what is supposed to be done. But still, when you see your life, it does not reflect what you expect. I want to tell you to continue holding on. Amen. You are about to be glad. Yes. Continue holding on. Continue working in the house of the Lord. Yes, it could be true. You are working, but your life is full of pain. But I want to tell you that your second chapter of your life is about to come. Amen. And you are going to be glad that you hold on. You are going to be glad that you never left. Because these two women, Naomi and Ruth, at the time they are alive, they are able to enjoy the fruits of their work. They were able to see the connection that, that was there in the house of the Lord. You know when you are going through pain, it is very possible for you maybe to look an opportunity to leave the kingdom of God. But if you do that, there is a blessing that you miss. Because I want to tell you for sure, if Ruth never followed her mother-in-law, she could not have been able to be connected to Boaz. What a person. You need the spirit of revelation so that you can understand that when you are in the kingdom of God, it is a point of connection. What a person. It does not matter how your past has been. How, how how painful you have been. But when your day comes in the house of the Lord, you just receive your blessing. What a person. This woman, by the name Ruth, she made a decision. Let me preach church. She made a decision. Actually, I think this message is very connected to what we are running in the morning. I am going to follow you, Naomi. And don't, don't tell me to turn my back. Let me follow you. And your people are going to be my people. Your God is going to be my God. And wherever you are going to be buried, that is where you are going to be buried. I don't know how many people come in the kingdom of God when they have a new motive. One Because Opa, the Bible says she cried and she kissed her mother in law, but she went. Because there was a lot of trouble, she could maybe she said this is too much. One Persifa. 
Maybe she said that I have been following this family, but now I have lost my husband. Let me leave them. Let me go on my way. Bona persifa. But I want to tell you that when you come in the house of the Lord, just come with a motive that I'm going to receive from the Lord. From the Lord. Bona persifa. But when you come with a bad motive, it's whereby you call God. But when things get tough, you withdraw from God. You just call God when things are going well. You just call God when things are okay. Because Oprah used to follow God when uh, used to be in the family of, uh, of Naomi when her husband was alive. But when she learned that her husband has died, she left. Bona persifa. But she did not receive any blessing. Bona persifa. Blessing is for those people who hold on to God, irrespective of the circumstances, irrespective of the pain. Actually, when you are in the pain, that is the time that you need to worship even most. When you are tasting bitter water, that is the time that you should worship God and you tell God, even if I am in this pain, God, I'm going to worship you, God, because I do not for you because of, of so I, I do not for you because of money, I do not for you because of car, I do not for you because of anything, but I follow you, God, because you are God. I worship you because you are God. In all the circumstances, I know that you are God. In the time of happiness, I know that you are God. In the time of pain, I know that you are God. In this time of pain, my God, I am going to trust in you. I am going to hold you. I am not going to, I am not going to live like Opa, but I'm going to hold on. Bona Persifa. I don't know how many people in this church that can make such decision that even if the rain may become bitter, you are not going to live in the kingdom of God, but you are going to hold on. Bona Persifa. And when you hold on, I can give you a guarantee that the second chapter of your life is going to come. Bona Persifa. And you are going to be glad and you are going to see the reason as to why you held on. Bona persifa. You will see the reason as to why you never left. Even if there was an opportunity for you to left, you said I'm not going to leave, but I'm going to to hold on. I am going to keep trusting in the Lord that I am going through this mountain, but I know that the God is going to level this mountain for me. I know that if in this midst of these troubles, I am going to see God. I don't have money, but I know that the God is going to make my future. Oh, yes. I will continue to work in God because I know in the house of the Lord there is my praise there. There is a praise for me. And I know that I could be last. Right now, I could not be having now. I, I could be having nothing but I know when my time will come I will be the first born a perceiver I want you to have a picture in your mind this is Ruth who is going in the field and in front of her the other people who are going harvesting and this woman of God she's just going there looking if she can get something but the Bible says later she was able to get the favor from Boaz and she was told you are not going to glean again in that leftover you are going to work with these people born a perceiver and you know what amazes me. If Boaz chose another person, it would not have amazed me very much. Yes. But what amazes me is that this woman was a foreigner mm. from Moab. The other people that would have been chosen by, by Boaz, but the Boaz chose this specific woman. When God is about to bless you, when you enter into the field of the Lord, what a perceiver. Amen. when you enter into the field of the Lord, can you reap with confidence? Can you reap with the confidence? What a perceiver. Because whatever is yours in the house of the Lord, it has got your name. And nobody can be able to take it from you. What a perceiver. Whatever is yours, reap with the confidence because it is yours. And nobody can be able to take it from you. Can you tell that to your neighbor? Whatever is mine, it has got my name written on it. And nobody can be able to take it from me. Amen. Amen. Reap with confidence. You are in the field of the Lord. Yes. And in the house of the Lord, in the field of the Lord, there are there are all blessings that we deserve. But many of the time that we come into the house of the Lord, when we enter into the kingdom of God, instead of reaping and doing our work and continue trusting in the Lord, we are fearful, but we do not understand that there is a connection that is there for us. There is a blessing that belongs to us. And we just continue to we just need to continue trusting in the Lord and knowing that if we continue to hold on to God, we are we are going to be happy. What a person. Yes. And the Bible says, this woman by the name Ruth, 
she moved from working hard from doing very few very huge work just to rest actually to rest bona pesa alikuwa anafanya kazi nyingi but because she found safer the bible says that now she was just there sitting down and uh, control uh, sorry controlling all the field bona pesa you know one thing church when you trust in god he is able to transform you from hard work to a to work in faith amen to work in faith sometimes faith is unfair allow me to say that faith is unfair because there are other people who are working very hard in this field but they never receive the blessing that the Lord received and i want to tell you that when you continue to work in the heart of the lord in the house of the lord whatever you receive you may receive something that other people may not receive because you keep working in the house of the lord this woman was not just sitting in the field but she was working there she was working honestly and she received what was belonging to her so it does not matter when you came what is your past oh, yes. but what matters is when you find yourself in the field of the lord what do you do one person amen i want you to know that when you find yourself in the house of the lord that is a point of connection bona persifa that is a point that you get connected to god and be able to bear the the, the pain because after the pain there is joy and the bible says that uh, uh, sadness may enjoy uh, may come for a night but joy comes in the morning bona persifa so whenever you find yourself in trouble whenever you find yourself in pain you need to know that just continue trusting in god because he is the one that is holding your future and he is the one that is going to help you to get connected to whatever you need but you see most of the people they just want to be in the second chapter but they don't want to be in the first chapter is that possible no. you need to first to be in that in this first chapter yes. and the first chapter it was a chapter of pain mm. and a chapter of hopelessness what a persifa yes. it was a, a, a chapter of a, a lot of tribulation but now when we enter into the second chapter now we see how these women were being blessed by god so whenever you find yourself in the challenge just trust in god what a persifa do not give up in that pain do not give up because you do not have hope but when you continue to trust in god that is when you are able to be connected to god what a persifa i don't know how many people know that this is a place of connection oh yes amen praise be to the name of our lord jesus christ this is a place of connection amen and there is a blessing in the house of the lord Hallelujah. whatever is yours is in this house mm-hmm. so you just need to be connected like the way ruth was being connected to boaz bona persifa amen so you just need to hold on bona persifa amen. because if this woman by the name ruth if she was not able to hold on she could not have been able to receive this blessing but she said i'm going to hold on no matter what yes so she never knew that this woman i'm holding on if and if she has nothing for me yes. this is the woman that is going to connect me to my blessing mm. this is the woman that is going to change my way of life mm. this is the woman that is going to know the god that is true but offer it and back to her god mm. but ruth said i'm going to cling to this woman because there is something that is in her that i can see deep in her even though outside she has nothing even though outside she is wasting because she has gone a lot of trouble and she has nothing attractive i am going to fall this woman and the bible says when she fall this woman she was able to become very great one apostle amen and she entered in the genealogy of jesus yes amen whenever we talk about jesus we cannot talk about that is why i, I yes. say that if you don't have this book we cannot have psalms and proper by that book mm. because we know what happened they bought a bed then from a bed there was jesse david like that and then you know that family tree how jesus christ was being born one apostle and when i was looking this when i was reading this chapter there is some, something that came to my mind Because I was wondering when you look the genealogy of Jesus you will not see people like Sarah being mentioned there actually people that you see like Ruth Tamar you know all their story but now because Jesus wanted to show them 
I came even for those sinners. One of Yes. I came for them. And that is why I'm saying, I don't even want to care how your past has been. All that I know, that it is God who directed you here. Amen. There are many, there are many fields that you could have entered, yes. but because God directs the steps of his righteous people. Yes. Oh, can I hear amen? Yes. God is the one who directs the steps of the righteous people. Yes. And I want to tell you this afternoon, you are in the right field. Amen. There is a point of connection in the field that you yes. are. Continue working in the field of the Lord yes. without complaining and knowing that God is going to connect you with a person who is going to change your lifestyle. Amen. Because when Ruth was connected to Boaz, her life never remained the same. Yeah. She was a window, a desperate person. Yeah. You can imagine that in those days, actually, with, actually, women were not even supposed to work. But now because she, ho she held on Naomi, God connected her to Boaz. She could not have been connected to Boaz, her destiny connector, if she never held on to Naomi. Many are the times that the people fight themselves in the field of the Lord. When they come, they fight, they are, they are, there is a lot of trouble. Maybe I'm going through pain. Maybe I have lost everything in my, in my family member. Maybe I have lost a husband. Maybe I have lost children. Maybe I don't have relatives that can help me. But they fail to understand it is at that point when you are going through that pain, that after that chapter of pain, you are going to receive your blessing because God is ready to connect you. What you need to be is just to become thankful to the Lord, even in the moment that you are going through challenges. When you are going through pain, you need to be connected to God. Actually, you need to worship God and you tell God, I know that I'm going through this, but no matter what, no matter what may come, I am just going to hold on. I am not going to give up. I am going to hold on to Jesus because I know when I'm hold on to you, yes. I shall receive what belongs to me. And whatever belongs to me, nobody can be able to take it from me because it has been written for me and it has it has my name. What a person. Amen. Then when you do that, you receive what belongs to you. You know, the Bible says that one day uh, when the writer uh, was about to leave, he asked Elisha, what can I give you? And Elisha said, can I receive the proportion of your spirit or the proportion of your anointing? The Bible says Elisha told Elisha, you have asked a hard thing. Yes. But if you see me live, you can receive what you want. Yes. If, you see me, if you see me live, you shall receive that double, uh, double anointing that you want. So basically what the writer was telling Elisha, if you are going to go with me till the end of the time, till the time that I'm going to leave, then you are going to receive that. You are going to go through a lot of challenges. You are going to be discouraged by the sons of prophets. You are going to go through a lot of challenges and a lot of trials. But if you are going to hold on unto me, you shall surely receive what you want. But otherwise, uh-uh. Otherwise, you are not going to receive. If you are not going to hold on to me, I don't know how many times that we find ourselves that God is telling us, can you continue to hold on? And I have something for you. But sometimes we become impatient and we leave our blessing. And when we leave our blessing, we go just like that and we go to suffering. But there are blessings when we hold on, when we keep trusting in God, in irrespective of what is happening. There is a lot of blessing. What a person. Amen. Keep holding on. Mm. You are about to be glad. Yes. Maybe you have started a business and there is nothing that you are able to receive from that business. Mm. I dare you not to, sh uh, to shut down that business. Yeah. Continue trusting in the Lord. Continue telling God. Because you are the one who directed me to do this. I shall continue to worship you. I shall continue to trust in you. And I know that when I trust in you, I shall receive what belongs to me. There is nothing that can be able to take away what belongs to me. So just walk in the field of the Lord. One appeal, And when you find yourself in the field of the Lord, you get a favor that can never be understood by other people. One appeal, You receive something that even you have not worked for. Because now, I want you to see this woman by the name Ruth. Everything now has become hers. Yes. 
Sidio? Yes. Was because he was married to Boaz. Sinajua mtu wa kioa si ladies everything is you are still yeah, yeah, yeah. so everything that was for boas has become hers wana persifa just by one thing she held on wana persifa yeah, yeah, yeah. when opa said hey, these things have become too much let me rest she left but we never heard about her mm. but ruth said no matter what oh now me you are pushing me to leave you but i'm not going to leave you wherever you go yes. i shall go wherever you stay that is where i'm going to stay and i am going to be connected to your god your people are going to become my people and your god is going to become my god yes. and wherever you shall be buried there is where i shall also be buried God and, yes. and by doing so by just holding on to Naomi, she was able to be connected to her blessing. Bona Persifa. Yeah, yeah. Many other times that, that we miss our blessing because of lack of revelation. Because Ruth could see something inside this woman by the name of Naomi. Maybe outside she has nothing that would have attracted her. But she could see this person has the spirit of God. She has a uh, what I need. She has the connection. One person. So this, I felt this uh, afternoon to encourage someone who could be going through pain. Sometimes when people are going pain, it is simple to tell someone it shall be well. It was simple to tell Naomi it shall be well. But sometimes when you are in pain, there are, uh, there are other types of pain that are so deep. Because losing someone that you love is not a joke. And those who have lost, they know that. This woman, she lost her husband. She lost her son. And there was no possibility for her to be redeemed. There was no any possibility. But the Bible says she was redeemed through Ruth. What a person the daughter you know that she connected to Boaz because of course when uh, Ruth was living well, she could not have forgotten her mother in law. I want to tell you that whenever you find yourself in a season of pain, that is a season that you need even to seek God more. Yes. That is a season that you need not to give up. Sometimes people go through a lot of pain and they create a very large hall, uh, a very large wall so that nobody can be able to enter into their hearts and help them. But I want to encourage you. You could be like this woman called Naomi. And when you look, maybe you are married, you have nothing to smile. When you look your business, you have start, you have nothing to smile. When you look your children, you have nothing to smile. You are there deep in pain. And maybe you are wondering what have happened to me. I do everything that God wants me to do. I'm faithful in the house of the Lord. I follow all the ways of the Lord. I have not committed any sin. But now the pain is coming too much. And what I'm trusting and what is being manifested in my life, there is a very huge gap. I came to tell you one thing. You are about to be glad that you hold on. Amen. You are about to be glad that you never left. Amen. You are about to be glad that you told God, no matter what is going on, I am going to hold on. I am going to trust in you, God. It is painful to lose someone that you love. It is painful when you go through a lot of challenges that people maybe could not be able to understand. Amen. But when you hold on, when you keep holding on and working in the field of the Lord, I want to encourage you Continue working in the field of the Amen. Lord, and you are going to receive whatever belongs to you. Bona persifa. It does not matter yes. the work that you do. It could be seen as small work, mm. but there is a blessing for that work that you are doing. Mm. Going after people have harvested, it could be seen as very bad job. Praise be to the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. because you don't know. You are just going there trying to see. If there is something that I can get. But you never know. You didn't know. Uh, this woman uh, never knew that. Mm. By doing that, that is the same place that she is going to get connected. You don't need to go to another field. Boaz told her, do not go to play in another field. No, go from here, but stay close by my young women. Amen. I feel like God is telling someone this afternoon. You don't need to go in any other field. Yes. 
Yes. Whatever you need is in the field of the Lord. Yes. What a person. Yes. Whatever you need is being connected by God. Mm. And let me tell you one thing. God is talking with other people concerning you. Yes. He is talking concerning you. And he is asking about you. He is about to bless you. What a person. Yes. I just felt that I need to give that message. And I want us to start. I want today to have a... I know we have a... Uh, we are going to have a we have a we, we have a, a, a holy communion so i want you to stand let us start and uh, i don't know which pain you may be going through i don't know how you feel but i want to tell you to hold on because you are about to enter into another chapter that you are going to receive the blessings of the lord I want you to go before the presence of the Lord and tell God, it is true I have gone through a lot of pain, yes. but God, I'm going to continue in your field, working in your field. Oh, yes, Jesus. I'm continuing Jesus. God to trust in you. And I know in these fields, I'm going to get whatever belongs to me. Go before the Lord. Don't get tired working in the field of the Lord. Because he has someone that he wants to connect you with. And that person is going to change your life. So go before the Lord and tell God, I want Father to continue working into a field. And I know that in your field, I am going to receive whatever belongs to me. Can somebody go before the Lord and cry to the Lord, I don't know the pain that you have been going through. Tell God you are pain. And tell God, could you connect me with someone who have my presence? And I know that God is going to possession Boaz in your life. Tell God to connect you to Boaz. Tell God to connect you to your point of blessing. Tell God this afternoon. God, I want to be connected to you. God, I want you to connect me to the person who is holding my blessing. There is someone who is holding your blessing. Tell the Lord, would you God connect me to this person who has my car, who has my house, who has my, my land, anything that I need God. There is this person that you are about to bless me with. I have been holding on your work. I never left my God. I have been truthful in your work. Father, help me, Jehovah God. Help me, my God, so that I can be truthful in your work, O oh God. Help me, God, so that I can see your dream. So that, God, I can see that person that you want to connect me with. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, let me receive my blessing. Let me receive my blessing, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. A connection is going on. There is a connection that is going on. And I know that you are going to see the faithfulness of God. May God connect you to the person that is going to take you to another level. May you see connection, a holy connection, a divine connection in the mighty name of Jesus. A connection that is going to take your life to another level. May God connect you to that wealthy person like Boaz who is going to change your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you could be there and you feel that you have gone through a lot of pain and you feel that you are at the verge of giving up. You have been there, you have been faithful in the work of God. But when you see your life and what you expect, there, are, there is a lot of God. I would like you to come before the, in this altar. Come here and tell God, could you make me to go to the next chapter? Because I believe this is an, a second chapter that you are going to be in next. Because when you go through a lot of pain, you may not understand. 